Hey everybody, uh, so the growing of hemp uh, remediates damaged soil and it uh, naturally sequesters CO2 as well as it being antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal. <clears throat> um, it's acoustic acoustically conducive, excuse me, and it is the optimal, it has the optimal omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acid ratio for human beings. Um, it has globular Epstein, which is great for the human immune system. Uh, requires less H2O than cotton, uh, ready... <clears throat> ready to be harvested in uh, just four months. Um, hempcrete, which is hemp mixed with lime and limestone and a little bit of water, uh, is fire retardant. Uh, hempcrete can, if I'm not mistaken, replace uh, cement and cement produces a large amount of CO2. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, hemp CO2, or kind of CO2. Yes, uh, hemp uh, can be processed to be stronger than steel. It needs little to no pesticides, fertilizers, etc. Uh, the roots of the hemp plant uh, cause apoptosis on malignant cancer, malig malignant cells, which are cancer cells, excuse me, um, which means that uh, the roots kill off cancer cells. Yeah, so while uh, also providing great nutrition, uh, the possible side effects, um, it, the possible side effects are not nearly as detrimental as other cancer treatments like chemotherapy and um, not nearly as expensive either. Because chemotherapy is very expensive and using hemp uh, roots is much uh, cheaper, as I just said. So, yeah. All right. I love you guys. Hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye.